So she's the one that did this. Yes, she's the one. Well, hold hold, hold on, one, one second. I want you to make clear. I know we're on but, this panel. But am I hold, excuse me, no, no, excuse me, did, excuse me, did, excuse me, sir. True? Do not no, over no, no, no. me. I'm, no, no, I'm going okay. to give you the opportunity to speak. Excuse me. Okay. Welcome back. Thanks for watching. We're going to get right into this clip of a black CNN panelist named Bruce Lavelle, who was an executive director of Trump's diversity coalition, who correctly points out that Kamala Harris uses race as a political tool for power which just sends the CNN host into a hysteric meltdown. Check it out, then I'll give you my thoughts and a bonus clip. Ugh, and let me tell you, just thinking about this clip makes me feel ill. And speaking of digestive issues, this is caused by a potential toxin that's in all of our, quote, healthy foods that so-called scientists have been telling us to eat with our fraudulent food pyramid for decades. This potential toxin causes digestive issues. And according to Dr. Grundy, who is a world-renowned cardiologist, this is affecting millions of people nationwide. Warning signs include weight gain, fatigue, digestive discomfort, and stiff joints and even skin problems. Well, Dr. Grundy explains that these side effects are often mistaken for normal signs of aging because digestive issues develop usually over a matter of years and sometimes even decades. Quote, I can assure you that this damage is likely caused by healthy foods and it's far from normal. The good news is you and I can easily fix these problems from our own home. You just need to know which foods are healthy and which foods contain these hidden potential toxins. After years of research, Dr. Grundy has decided to release this informative video to the public for free and uninterrupted showcasing exactly which foods you need to avoid so you can now go and find that information for yourself at gutcleanseprotocol.com forward slash drone that's gutcleanseprotocol.com forward slash drone so the answer to your question as it relates to that you know we all know when you know Kamala Vice President Kamala Harris ran for you know Attorney General you know, and and you you can track check me on this. News outlets said she's the first Indian American. She did run as Indian American, okay, and then she was chosen for the vice president nominee as the candidate for Joe Biden, and then he was told that you will get a black woman. So then she says, Well, here is a black woman. <laughs> we have another all right, I got to stop it here real quick because the panel's already scoffing, but what he said is 100% accurate. Kamala Harris first ran as an Indian woman and then suddenly became black after pressure grew for Joe Biden to pick a black woman as his running mate. And he was told that you will get a black woman. So then she says, well, here is a black woman. So in all fairness, when right, she when she asked that question to President Trump, that's a valid you know, answer because that's mm. based on her, where she was in her life, what she us. chose to be at that time. So that's yeah, where that answer comes in. So she's the one that did Bruce, this. Bruce. She's Bruce, the one. I, that hold hold on, hold on one, one second. I want to just make clear. I know we're on but, this panel. But am I hold, excuse me, no, no, excuse me, did, did, excuse me, excuse me, sir. True? Do not over no, 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 no. me. I'm, no, no, I'm going okay. to give you the opportunity to speak. Excuse me. Okay. Do not oh. overtalk me on my program. Oh, I am, I am trying to give. Ear, so. That's why, if you would allow me to speak, I would clarify the opportunities for each of you on the panel to have a chance to speak and have your own point heard to an audience who's eager and speaking with bated breath to hear your opinion. But you cannot talk over each other. I want everyone to hear. So when I hear you hear this voice or this ding, ding, ding of the Laura Code sound, please stop. Say, be cool. Be cool, honey. Say, be cool. Be cool. Tell they have to put on these theatrics now because we have plenty of video and print evidence from Kamala's Senate run that focus on her being Indian. I stand before you as the first candidate for vice president of the United States of South Asian descent. Certainly you could become the first uh, Indian senator in U.S. history, which would be quite an accomplishment. Not good. <laughs> In her book, Harris says, there is no title or honor on earth I'll treasure more than to say I am Shamla Gopalan Harris's daughter. Harris's visits to India with her mother kept her connected to her roots. She's a strong black woman. Donald Trump may not want to say that, but it's true and everyone knows it's true. That is what gaslighting is, is what I'm talking about. But of course, now when Trump calls her Indian, it's literally systemic racism that threatens democracy. Like I said, I don't care about her race, but it should be obvious to anyone who hasn't given over their brains to the state that Kamala Harris is pretending to be a strong black woman for political power. And I'm not saying she can't do that. She absolutely can. 
but we should be allowed to criticize it. Two, I seem to remember a lot of people on the left, Democrat voters, who were saying that Kamala Harris was not black enough or they didn't see her as black back when she was trying to get the vice president position. I'm glad you mentioned Barack because a lot of black people question if Barack was black enough. I see them doing the same thing to you. Black woman. Okay, that's she, why I agree with that. I agree with that, but now, is she African American? No, 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 no. But is she African American? There is a difference. There's nothing wrong with that. No one is trying so to take down, anything away from let's her. Let's go down into her lineage. Let's I think you're falling. I think you're falling into a trap of that. All she had to do was no, say, "I am black, no, I'm but not I'm not African American." Oh, that was different. And that's exactly what these black men did at a barbershop when a CNN reporter donning an Air Jordan shirt so that he could blend in asked them what they thought about Kamala Harris being a strong black woman. It did not go well. Is Kamala going to make you uh, a little more likely or less likely to vote Democrat? Well, hold on, hold on, wait, first, Greg, hold on, Greg. Is, is Kamala black, yes or no? I'm going to let her speak on that. <laughs> but to me, no. Oh. Is Kamala Black, yes or no? I share that same view. Wow, is Kamala Black, yes or no? I heard she was. I heard she's half black and half Asian. When I played that audio on my Sirius XM radio program on Thursday, many callers who self-identified as African-American were quick to tell me that those men were the exception, not the rule. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> Some described them as low-information voters, no different than you'd find among whites. A human. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on right now with the Democrat Party, Kamala Harris, and our media is absolutely wild. She no longer has anything to do with the border. She no longer has anything to do with our bad economy, of course. She's no longer the most left-wing senator. They've scrubbed that as well. Despite our media's current untethered adulation for Kamala Harris, it's all astroturf and propaganda. And you know what's funny? CNN just put out this announcement that they're getting rid of their opinion division. Seriously, like what part of CNN isn't left-wing Democrat opinion? Let me know in the comments, does anybody think that CNN is anything other than an extension of the Democrat party and Kamala Harris campaign?